Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we've got a big box to open. Let's get straight into it. Unless I'm very much mistaken, and it doesn't look like I am, this is a big box of aquatic plants that I have ordered. Got to be honest, most of them I want for myself, but this is the next foray into the Aquarium Adventures on the business side, where I'm hoping to offer some of these as products. But more info on that later. Let's have a look and see what we got first. A little bit of a mixed bag because there's some things in here I just wanted to try for myself, some things that I thought would go well in the tanks that I've got, and some things that I thought, eh, hey, these just might be interesting to have. For instance, let's just jump straight into these. A Madagascar lace plant. Uh, shall I try and do the Latin names? I don't know whether I should or not because I just sound like I'm trying to cast spells or something. A Ponganatin Madagascar very cool though, I've always liked to look at these. Next up, this was labelled under the specials, lots of water lettuce, um, different sizes I think I asked for. So I've got a whole big bag of them here. And then another um, lace plant variation at least. And oh, I've got some trays here, what's in here? Oh, some Elodia. So again, this is for my goldfish tank upstairs. I just wanted some extra greenery in there. So we've got a nice big tree of that. Uh, some pots here, some giant vals. So a nice big selection of them. We've got six of them, I think. Vals and areas, Gigantica rubra. Very good. Next then, what have we got here? Again, I think there'll be six of these. Some pots of Anubius Nana Thick Leaf. Looking really nice and healthy and green. Loving the look of them. Some more pots. So here we've got some Java Fern, some Microsorum Terabus. Again, I think most of them are in batches of six. So I've got six pots. Again, love this plant. Nice big bunch. Uh, looking good. Already some babies on it, if you can see them there. Um, always useful. can use this in loads of different situations. And a really good plant. Propagates really well too. So I'm moving into the more planted things because I have been a massive fan of planted tanks. Enthusiastic learner. I've still no idea what I'm doing. I've got to be completely honest. I'm an enthusiastic amateur. But I believe that some plants are better than no plants, even if you don't know what you're doing. And the best way to learn is to dive in. So if you are where I was a couple of years ago and weren't really used to plants, then come and get some, because they make a tank really pop and look good. So Echindorus, Amazon Swords here. Again, six pots of them. Decent size, decent leaves. I've not seen any with any real like, die off or anything. These have all come from Holland, I believe traveled really well. Some more java fern, another big bag, six pots of java fern. I got lots of that because I like java fern. And then I ordered a few mother plants for myself. So I think that's what these are. So a nice big Anubius. Yeah, some more mother plants here. Again, mother plants being big, impactful straight away. This is a big crypt of some description. I mean, I only ordered these a few days ago. I already can't remember what I ordered. Yeah, big crypt. Imagine that as a centerpiece, nicely tucked into some wood or some rocks. Or you can split it up and make lots of little plants. The mother plants are for me. Another crypt. Yeah, I think I got a couple of these. I think these were special offers. So really good value on these ones. A little bit more battered, but fine. Will recover easily. Oh, another big tray of things here. We've got Cryptocorine Wendetti Green Gecko and Junkus Rippins. Junkus Rippins is this. I, I got this to carpet once in an old discus tank. Uh, and it worked really well. I think it fills out really well, it spreads really quickly can work wonders in a, plant, a planted tank. And then the Crypt, crypt Gecko, not gonna lie, was won over by the Gecko part of the name. Nice, smaller Crypt. 
So six of each of them. Uh, what have we got here? Crypt, Pacelli Pink and Willisay. A lot of these crypts, they look quite similar on the face of it, I think, in my experience, which again isn't much. It takes quite a while before you actually see the differences, so you get them to grow in a little bit. You see the colour start to come out, the different sizes and shapes. But again, no complaints about how healthy all these look. I don't know, a slightly different type of Anubis. Heterophilia. Slightly taller looking. Looks good, six of them. The last couple of trays, we've got more crypts. We've got Cryptocorine Nev <laughs> Neville, <laughs> Nevelai and Biketti. Here's the Nevelai, a little bit smaller, it's narrower leaf. And the Biketti, Biketti. Again, coloured stem on that one. A longer leaf, a bit broader. Looking good. And then last but not least, We have Pogostemon, or Pogostemon, depending where you come from. Helferai, which is a cool little um, texture on there, like the crinkle cut leaves. Again, I've kept this before, really liked it, really like how it, it complements different scapes with different textures and it just feels slightly different. Looks really good, stays quite compact can't wait to use that. So what I'm going to do is get all these plants, I've got a holding tank here and I'm wondering if I've got a big enough holding tank, get them in there so you can see what they look like underwater. So there we go, I've moved all the plants into these two aquariums <laughs> and I might have underestimated how much space I needed for these so i will probably going to have to sort these out afterwards. But just to talk about this a little bit, obviously I've put these underwater because the reason for me buying plants is because I want to set up a bunch of planted tanks, so these are for me. There are, however, obviously far too many for me. Some would say you can never have too many plants, but I will be offering some of these for sale. And I've put them underwater because I want to use them. Um, I didn't even think about not putting them underwater, if I'm completely honest, but that is a valid way of storing them. Uh, talking to some of the guys on Discord about this. Quick plug, go and check my Discord server out. Um, about just keeping them in like a container or something like that. Keeping them nice and moist, maybe misting them, and that they would last a bit longer and have less chance of them rotting away and things like that. So like, for instance, crypts have a tendency to die off when you first plant them, because a lot of these plants are grown immersed rather than submersed at the farms. But obviously I want to use them in an aquarium, so get them underwater. I'm starting that process now, so if you were to buy some of these, then yeah, they might not be in the best condition by the time you get to them, because I have submerged them, but I want to be completely honest, so if you buy these plants, you will not get any guarantees that there won't be any snails. I mean, there's no snails in these tanks, but I do have snails in the fish room, and they get bloody everywhere, so if you were to buy them, they might have a snail on them, so the onus will be on you to do dips and things if you don't want snails. I'm not going to try and give you snails, but... It might happen. Um, I'm not, this isn't, I'm not going for world dominance in the aquatic plant market or anything like that. I'm just wanting to offer them at a fair price, not screw over any of the else selling plants by undercutting them massively, and not screw over you, the customer, buying them at an overinflated price. So I'm trying to strike a, a happy medium. Um, so I've got them all in there. A bunch of these I have plans for, for instance, to use in my discus tank and possibly in the Fahaka Puffer tank, if he convinces me that he's not going to eat all my plants. Um, but yeah, I have excess. So these will be available on site, on my website, for order very shortly. So the discus tank, as it is now, obviously there are quite a few plants in there. I just want to get a few more plants in there, as well as some of my other tanks setting them up a bit nicer rather than having bare tanks which there's nothing wrong with and I'm not making any digs at people who keep bare bottom tanks because I do that too I'm just wanting to make my fish room a little bit nicer and do up some more tanks and if I can offer some plants to you at a fair price as well we'll do that
There you have it, we have a bunch of plants. That was pretty much all I wanted to say about today's video. Uh, it was more of an unboxing rather than anything else. Um, I'm happy because I've got loads of plants and who wouldn't be happy with loads of plants? Um, if you like this kind of thing, stick around. There will be more plant content when I decide which ones I'm going to keep for myself and plant and where. So click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing that. Come and join me on a Friday night at 9pm uh, UK time. Every week we do a live stream. You can make suggestions, make requests. Maybe if there's a plant you want to see, you'll find hard to get, I might be able to get it, let me know. Um, but thank you very much for indulging my little side project. See you in the next one. Bye!